TikTok, you guys would have known that I was in DR last year, but I was in Punta Cana. Now I am in Santa Domingo. Solo trip. Welcome to the vlog. If you're seeing my face for the very first time on this channel, they call me Jody, and you get all things of fashion, beauty, and of course lifestyle. Staying at the Crown Plaza Hotel in Santa Domingo, and this is an IGH chain, which is the Intercontinental Group of Hotel. For me, even mess up the place, my number kind of look rough. Mount dry everything, but me have to get into the room tour, and so we can, you know. Show down and relax. Oh, I'm for show down and really relax. Unfortunately, now it is raining, so I'm standing like in front of my little view right here, which you're not gonna see. I'm gonna jump the gun. Let's get into the room tour. This is my second time trying to record uh, this room tour. So I forget it's outside the way and the door right here. So when you come through, this is what you're seeing. This is the view when you come through the door. To the right of that, we have uh, the bathroom area. You know, it's a Spanish country, so you know, they have the Spanish design in the tiles, but it also has this really nice modern touch. So, I actually love how big this mirror is, as well as it has the LED strips lighting around it. As you can see, it's very bright, so I'm able to do my makeup. I did carry an extra light by the way, but just in case, I am okay with the lighting in here thus far. It looks bright enough. To do, get my makeup done. Then next we have uh, the toilet area, and uh, I think he says that's a blow dryer in here. We have some towels, and then we have just a regular standing shower. Nothing too crazy, but at the same time looking modern, and it's also clean, which you know is very important. So when we exit the bathroom, we are greeted by the closet. And uh, in the closet we have hangers, we have iron, and we have an ironing board, and we can hang up with stuff. So I'm gonna, I'm thinking about packing out. I'm not sure yet. And then this side now, we have uh, the coffee slash tea maker, as well as a safe and some extra storage. I didn't even see this the first time I came. You see. We have a drawer right here and some extra storage. I, can, I guess I can put my shoes and stuff right there. So next up, we enter the bedroom. But before we get to the bed section, we have this standing mirror, this big full length mirror, which I really love. It's really modern. The black trim around it with the LED lights behind it, really, really, really nice. For some reason though, initially I thought it could have, like it's a sliding mirror, but apparently it's not. <laughs> it stays one place. So I really like it. And then we have the television, and as you can see, they have the LED strips lighting going on. We'll soon get to that section of the room, but let us talk about the bed. I think she said she upgraded me to a deluxe something of the sort. I don't remember what it was, but we have a bedside table here with a little lamp. Oh, okay, yeah. So this is what we have. And then this is the bed as you can see looking very modern and this looks like it's a king size bed yeah 
then we have a little area here where you can put your little baggage and stuff like that so you know I drop down everything right there so and then next now we have a little mini bar um, unfortunately this is not included in your stay but you can go ahead and eat anything from it and uh, obviously you'll pay for it just make sure you have your money money talk right and they will have the price list right there so next up we have uh, this little sitting area and I really love this the textured wall is giving for me and it's like when I come to these places that give my ideas and they have the LED strips lighting running but there they will have this little lamp here as well and then we have this little round sitting well like this like a dining area right there another bedside table with a phone and I got a complimentary well, two bottles of complimentary water after that my own, but they my own pretty much <laughs> look at they have some more light right here as well wow I love a lit room because it gives me the option you know to go bright bright or if I want it a little moody anyhow next up we have this little section right here really cute and I love the, the wall art this is a picture of some of their colonial monuments. I don't know which um, particular buildings they are. Oh, unfortunately, because it is raining, the camera and this view any justice because it's very bleak outside. But I am located overlooking the pool, overlooking the, the pool lounge area, as well as the Caribbean Sea. All the rooms are comes with a view so that is one of the reasons why I chose this hotel as well far the place is nice and clean and from you enter the lobby area it is like wow it's a business class hotel so I am in Santa Domingo which is the capital and I'm looking forward to the next couple of days like to just bask in the moment just for connect with myself just to be one with myself but so far like i feel so good i'm gonna leave you hanging i'm gonna tell you how i did it and did it in such a short period of time because if you watch my last vlog on the notes i'm a girl i've bought three days to plan that trip here but i made it happen tell you guys about oh my overweight i don't know if i said it in the last vlog on my pack you know i mean i say not my feet are so case of overweight then i'm gonna put this up on the scale i said there's something overweight wicked wicked the girl said what is overweight and i have to take out some stuff i took out my makeup bag which i know it well heavy put it on my handbag put it back on still overweight i take out two pair of shoes drop it on my handbag put it back on still overweight and the girl said you have to take out something you have to take out something more than telling me to listen now the bag pack it up the bag rub me i said god what is the girl said i have to take out something more i go i'm gonna take out one more pair of shoes or two more pair of shoes and stuff it stuff it but i know my bag can't even close all my stuff in the bag and put them back this is still over the girl's kiss out <laughs> oh my god me don't know what happened to me every time i said me i'm gonna pack light but i always said just in case just in case just in case we made it But guess what happened now? I have this designated restaurant that I wanted to go to tonight. It is unfortunately still raining. And when I checked Google Maps, what is supposed to be a 15 minute drive, I got it like a half hour and I am not about that life. So when we finish ready, I actually check back Google Maps to see if the traffic kind of run off or what. I don't know if it's a rain or cause it, but I think them said generally Santa Domingo does have a lot of traffic. So I watch it to see, but if that take me more than five minutes beyond the time, I'm not gonna go. I'm gonna do my makeup and come back. My new shape brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours. Damn right, it's better than yours. I can teach you, but I have to charge. My new shape brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours. Damn right, it's better than yours. I can teach you, but I have to charge. This is uh, the final look in terms of the makeup. I feel like it's a little bit ashy. Cause I feel like uh, it's 360 in the fit me, but this is the matte and poreless, I believe, and I think it give me like a ashy look. I don't know if I love the finish, but we'll work with it. So we we move. This is the outfit. 
which is this jumpsuit from uh, um, uh, Amazon. I paired it with this belt that I had because it have a little loop. So I put on a belt and I'm taking with this bag. Final look. Um, let me check now if the restaurant, like heading there, if it makes sense for me to still go. In 200 meters, turn right onto Avenue. Okay, and so it is now, it is saying 15 minutes, which is the correct time. So I'm not see any um, traffic. Usually, I don't post. I don't post. Usually, I don't post, but I want the world to know. Time to pull a drop top out. Summer nights, it's a vibe, yeah. We've been keeping it in the house. Netflix and chilling, I GDMing, yeah. Didn't wanna share my love till I found someone I'm sure of. Young and untamed, I've been out of range, keeping it low. But I wanna be bold with it. Don't care what we told about it. Wow, baby, gotta hold on it. Don't let love unfold tonight. They'll be calling us gold. You know Hear me out. I have two minutes to talk to them because it's currently 9.15. Breakfast ends at 10. Tell me why I got up this morning about 4 o'clock. And when I say up, I mean up, up. I mean I'm up. I put out clothes. I put out outfit for the day. Like this burst of energy when I got up. And then I say, you know what? Let me try to go back to sleep. So I put on some Netflix. Watching that until I fell back asleep. And tell me why this little fool fooled really over this so Decide for just go off alarm about seven o'clock. I said there's something about me, say man. I say when my fall back asleep, I said, alright then, we can sleep for another two hours or so and then I'm supposed to get up and I'm supposed to feel alright. That damn alarm thing. I get up and just plug it out into the darkness, you know. I guess the last guest set an alarm on it, so it alarm every day and probably if you didn't sit in the room you wouldn't know. Anyway guys, as I said, I head down to breakfast now. This is the outfit of the morning. I'm wearing this three-piece orange set. This is also from Amazon. So it's like this really cute lounge set. It has the top, this with a little spaghetti strap and it also has the shorts. That is it and the cardigan portion of it which is sleeveless which makes it perfect for, you know, this kind of vibe. If you know, I reckon if I'm long time, I'm not supposed to know these, these vacation bags and stuff like that because I normally just recycle the same things over the years. I got that one from Sheen years ago and if it's not broken I don't fix it because I have started to become a minimalist where those things are concerned. Many want over I used to over consume a lot where shoes and clothes and those things are concerned. I don't do it anymore. Once not, not do the bag or the glasses or whatever I just keep wearing it. So that is what we are doing. 6% chance of rain. So what I had planned today to do was to go into the town and to basically do a little it's not like a tour and to do today was basically an outdoor activity. And if it's gonna rain it don't make no sense. So I'll probably switch around today with another day so may go to the mall. What the day has to offer and me realize that my start the vlog i'm gonna remember for telling for like comment and subscribe i mean like the video if you feel like for like it yeah man subscribe if you feel like for subscribe <laughs> anyway guys let's go Just getting ready, I'm just do my face. 
I don't love my makeup as me that said to me last time. I think it's kind of ashy. But anyway, I don't know for some reason that the mirror look dark. But I'm going to wear this. Actually, this is a matching set. So I have the top to put on over it. So I put on this bralette on the inside so I can basically open up the top. It's nice enough, you know, but the pants them from No Fashion Style is so short. But let me put it on the top and show you. Know. I don't know how it look. It probably too much. <laughs> I don't think it look good. I don't know. Uh. colonial zone i am at this cute boutique called el mosquito boutique hotel so it has this really cute cafe thanks to tiktok i found this one it came highly recommended and the number one the aesthetics are chef's case you're looking for something rustic antique as i said it's a boutique hotel then trust me this is it it's just unfortunate that it's overcast and uh, you know we go away already there's no sun so imagine if the sun was out baby this would be giving uh, when it's about cute pictures you would get it here like i get some so i think i did do a little b-roll of me coming in like it's very nice it is um me alone there you know because as i said it was raining today so i guess everybody kind of just you know stayed in because it does have an outdoor area which is like the main area i'm ordering something now so i'm looking at the sushi roll with avocado and rice and stuff so i'm asking my server if the sushi is cooked so i have to be using google translate he speaks some english but he doesn't understand and i'm asking if the sushi is cooked so i'm going to type it in on my google translate and he's asking on the inside if it is cooked he can come you come come Come, you won't be on it. It's on me. <laughs> it's on okay, me. and then we do, how do you want it? Sushi? Yes, it's cooked. It's no, it, it, that's not cool. That's not cook but because that's this this I have also another preparation. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna try it. Let me let me get um everybody everybody eat sushi. Everybody here. eats sushi here. The same. Let me get this one. Sushi rolls ah the camarones. Yeah. Sushi rolls camarones. Yes. Come on. See. I like my servo. What's your name? Melvin. Melvin. He's very nice. <laughs> He's very funny. Sushi acevichado and sushi camarones. Camarones. What do you prefer? Ah, Camar camarones. Yes, see, because okay, that one we'll have the camarones, camarones fries. Yes, because that one have the rice and the avocado. Okay. Yes. Sushi camarones. Okay. Yes. Sushi camarones. Yes. Uh -huh. What else? Uh, How would it be for? Oh, yes, you want to fry rice? No. That's the no. The other and sushi camarón. Ah, oh, okay. So this one, just this one. But what is the picture? <laughs> I don't huh? know. Oh, picture. no picture. Oh, oh, oh every time oh. it's here. Uh, we have. Everything cocktail for Amalga, Caesar, kiss and tail. Mm. Good for It's okay, yeah. kiss and tail is good. Oh, alright, I'm gonna take care. I'm gonna the try. Caesar is good. Okay, you gonna, prefer? let me try the kiss and tail. Okay, one kiss and tail. Yeah. Okay. So you keep yourself safe. The good thing is that Uber let me up, like literally, like right in front of the door, I just walk, come in, because you know your phone and your camera is just like Jamaica, you just make sure eh? you're on a piece and cue. Anyway, the outfit. So, let me just change the inside top to this black camisole and then I have on these from Rainbow and let me carry that. I don't even know why I carry sunglasses but anyway, that's the vibe.
Still got love for your mommy. I know you wanna be somebody, even if you gotta leave somebody. Interrupt this broadcast to bring you a special report. And guys, when I tell you this food, this food is busting. I said food. The drinks, the sushi, top tier. Did I come to the for the food? Yes, I came to the air for the food. I can't find the words to explain how good this sushi is right now. If you ever come to the air, I'm sure you come check out El Mosquito and get exactly what I ordered. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Tell me why it is now 10 40 at night, minutes to 11, and I am feeling ex well. I'm not extremely hungry, but may I get hungry? And I am not the best person when I'm hungry. Tell me why I'm gonna lay down and wait until it's a late before me I'm gonna try to get something to eat. So this restaurant that I wanted to go to, I think the last clip that you saw, I would have gone to the the boutique hotel cafe. Like, that, listen, guys, that was so good. But anyway, enough about that. Got back, feel contented, feel full, and everything. I was just literally just laying down for the entire time like just a lay down and let me there you know i'm here watch the time you know nine o'clock ten o'clock no look on the time i know i'm hungry so the restaurant that i plan to go i have planned to make make two stops today i plan to do the dinner in a cave um in the cave restaurant which me never really, really too fussy about that because from the reviews my only ear says just you know, it's like a fad. It's just like it's a cave dinner, but the food is not exceptional. And if you know me and you know some is a foodie, me rather go to one local bitch up cook shop and know that the food tastes good than for go somewhere that is prim and proper and the food is crap. That is just me personally. So me never really, really fussy about it, but I wanted to, I had made a reservation and me just never go. So I decided right, then after that I would have go this rooftop bar because I just plan for life to be out tonight like really you know be out and explore the nightlife. So this place name uh, oh my god I don't remember what name something under like 84 which is like a rooftop lounge. But after I finished the dinner in the cave thing I would have gone there for drinks. So I said alright then since it's a tapas bar I can probably just go now. They close at midnight tonight. By the way, so the fact that it's almost 11 o'clock and I'm not ready, I'm going to burn down the edge now and then I'm going to look what else is available. Maybe the persons at the lobby can recommend something to me, but I don't want to feed them hotel food. I know that much. I can see what I can go on food. now I think five minutes past eleven. At this point I kinda said it now will happen and I kinda just prepare my mind to come back up and take out my clothes. The good thing is that we have a solution. So the restaurant that I went to last night is called Mr. Grill and I realized that I didn't even tell you guys this is a fragrance by the way um juicy couture this one smells it smells so sorry not juicy couture Jimmy Choo <clears throat> Jimmy Choo smells so good yeah so um the restaurant when we got to last night it was so good my order this salmon with this fried rice thing and me i tell you it, it tastes so good everything when we eat so far from i've been here so good when me the carry back home soft that last night i have that in the fridge so worst case scenario if it not work out i'll just have them warm it up for me because the most of our microwave okay i'm warm up something for me it's off the shoulder dress it has splits on the side i'm gonna start wearing it with my brown Slippers, I'm not wearing heels tonight. I'm gonna carry my little orange bag over there. And uh, so, yeah, so this will be it. Here is up. And uh, that will be the look for the night. Used to talk 24 7 every other second just to make sure we were up to date. Now it's closer to 11. Fortunately, I came down here too late. The restaurant is already closed, but they do have a cafe. So they're asking someone to assist me. So they 
assisting me and he's trying to get a fork for me as well. <laughs> Look, I got some yanyan cool food tonight. And I ain't hearing nothing. I just need to know that you're okay. Get any drink with this? And you also need beer. Uh, Anyone? Yeah. Okay. Do you have a menu? No, and just and just uh, rum and, and beer. Oh, just rum and beer. What do you give the rum with? Oh, uh, coal or water. Oh, I don't drink any of those. Didn't know. Man, I just rum or beer. Me get the drink. But after midday, I go like me the hot girl. I already forgot all the margaritas. <laughs> We're ready for the other cocktail. Man say rum or beer. Baby, don't hide away from me when I need you more. Uh, what flavor daiquiris do you have right now? Mm -hmm. Only lemon? Yes. Okay, all right, give me and, uh, a... It's, it's strawberry. Strawberry. All right, give me a pina colada. Thank you. Yes. And I have to know, say. Have you ever asked yourself the question, how did I get here? Many times we make subtle decisions that don't seem to be a big deal, but what we often fail to realize is that where you are today is the result of all of the decisions, big and small, that you've made up until this point. The good news is, even if you are not where you want to be right now, you still have a chance to rewrite your script. Good morning! I hope you can hear me because there's actually music in here. So as you can see, I am at a cafe right now. It's called Avagato Cafe. It's in the colonial zone area or zona colonial. And I missed breakfast as a matter of fact. I slept literally through um, breakfast. So yeah, the sleeping today. It's like a six minutes drive from the hotel. So it's pretty close by. It's just, you know, traffic and there's a lot of one ways. It's set up like our downtown and um, maybe Spanish town. Every time I come here, it reminds me so much of Spanish town, but it looks like downtown. It's a mixture of both. It's so different. Like a lot of antiques. If you see that wall right there, there's like a lot of antiques. There's a lot of stuff hanging. I'd like to try the Dominican. Also like to try the uh, banana waffles and uh, the macchiato with cream with Irish coffee. Mocachino. Oh, mocachino. Oh, mocachino. Mocachino with, with, with cream. cream. Oh. Let's see. All right, that's it. Thank you. is like a Dominican traditional breakfast so that's why I ordered it it's called it's actually called literally called Dominican which is this this it is so good I'm not sure what it is called but I think it is like a Dominican thing so I'm gonna ask the gentleman what's it called because I really I actually like it yes I come around you, baby girl, something doesn't feel the same You said that I'm changing, but it's really you I see how you play those games Wifey type for a maid man A queen can make moves, a king can't yeah, yeah. Snatch you up, now you take it Gave you bricks, now you build it wall up, wall up. I made it back to the hotel 
I absolutely loved that cafe. So far, me and telling us I'm experienced like it is so good. And guys, I'm not exaggerating. You see, if you're a foodie, my name is because me love food so much. I look forward to the comfort of the place, the cleanliness of the place, and the taste of the food, and everything so far is spot on. And it's very cheap, like reasonable to eat in there, like seriously, because my breakfast a while ago, and I ordered too much things, because I, I didn't realize the first thing that I ordered was a meal in itself, and then I got the waffles to it. So all of that came to 23 US dollars. Yeah, so like 1600 Dominican pesos, which is about 23, 23 US dollars. So that was so good. A nice day. So when I came out of the cab a while ago, I was contemplating going across the road because they do have like a little trail along here, here, so where you can walk and seat over there where you can sit down and stuff. But because I didn't see anybody over there, I didn't go over there by myself. I was really tempted a while ago. It's 2.35, so I to 3. And the mall is about a half hour drive, 25 minutes, half hour. But the traffic in Santa Domingo is so bad. Listen, so I'm going to check um, Google Maps now. And if it's more than the half hour, sis not going. Because in a sense, I'm going to sit on one hour in the traffic. But then you look at that a three kilometer 330 and then one next hour, probably hour and a half come back. So if not, I might just head down to the pool. That's the beauty about traveling by yourself. You literally get to call the shots. It's not like you have somebody plan and then the person say, you know, this is what they want to do, this is what they want to do. You have to do with the person. Like, this morning, I literally miss breakfast and it was no big deal. Literally. And may I tell you, people are nice, family are nice, your spouse, your partner, um, friends, those kind of trips are nice. But even if for one time in your life, take a trip by yourself. I promise you, you won't regret it because I feel so good. As me as I told them, I feel like me I enjoy this a little bit too much. I put this in the fridge. So me I go con me I go look and decide what me I go do. Because that's that's the beauty, you know. Everything on not have to be hard and fast. Okay. Bug them some of them give me I wonder how the bugs are big. <laughs> I was wondering how the box are big. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge because this might have to be one lifesaver. Yeah, but I'm not drink enough water, you know, that's my problem. I need to have some water now. So let me check and then we decide. Me, me update you now in a minute. I said five in the morning. I wake up to five on my arms. Yeah, in my mind is a warning. Pray to the one you're relying. I've been wandering all day. Tried to be fine, but I can't be. The noise in my mind what it gave me. Tried to get by, but I'm burning. I mean, I, my mind is right. All these thoughts I'm troubling. Starting to give up my pain. Starting to be on my lane. My mind running to the other side. When it's time to leave my life, then it tries to take me out. Tell you what I need. Right yet, I really need, I really need time. I really hope that you are engaging with the vlog because your girl I do the thing. I'm going to make sure it's going to get one good length vlog. So if you're enjoying the vlog so far, just type in the comment section, yes, I am. It helps with your engagement and it helps me to know that you are actually enjoying the vlog. So just type, yes, I am at this very moment. But remember, so you can comment through the entire vlog, you know. You can't comment all the way through, you know. So, yeah, we just have to plug that scene. And remember to like off as well and subscribe. <laughs> What's
to you guys. No, sir. I never planned to take up about the camera tonight, you know. We just reached home from Piso 84. That was so good. Like, what do we call it? Uber, the Uber. My sister, the Uber almost reached. So, where am I call it? Uber. Like, I just said I enjoyed myself. But anyway, I am back home safe. And me with my enough self, you know, before I come out of the cab and come up my room, take my backside and come up in my room. Hear me now? I'm going to look at the casting, you know, because I remember I'm telling you, I'm never going there, but I'm never going. So, hear me now? I'm going to look at the casting, you know, I'm going there. Apparently, casino is a thing in DR because I realized say, and it is a, it's a big thing in there. And the casino here is huge, like holy for games and holy for people. And even when I was driving along the strip and stuff, it's a lot of casinos and they are big buildings. My realized, say, okay, it's a big business over here. Tell me why I would mean go to the people in place. Everybody stop and look for me. <laughs> Everybody stop and I look for me. Like, you know, like I feel like one stray. You know, like one stray. But there's no shit. So I don't know why. I don't know if I'm black like this and not like this. I'm not sure. <laughs> but I've never felt so awkward in my life. But I just bust one. You go like me. I look for somebody. I'm bust one. Like when I see them, I'm bust one U turn and just march right through the exit. Everybody stop. I felt so awkward. Anyway, guys, that's it for tonight, and I'll see you guys back in the morning. Perfect strangers, just the two of us. can see I my also mix up this thing you know I think of floor one as you can see I changed the wig because listen that wig the the sides kept lifting up I get gluing it down and then it started for each me so I decided I'm gonna this look like it very this one yeah so I just decided to say I always carry this wig because this wig is like $20 on Amazon the last time I checked and everything is still available but it's like my little go-to week but anywho I am currently heading to breakfast now I'm going to have a big breakfast this morning it's mostly like fruits I think I'm going to do an Indian omelette Good morning. Uh, good morning. I'd like an omelette, please. Everything. With cheese. Prawns. Onion. Uh huh. Tomato. Tomato. Uh huh. A little cheese. What's that? Cheese. Cheese? Yeah. Okay. That's yes, huh? Mouse. That is serving for my friend, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Um, what's that? Uh, no, Pepe. no. Pepper. Pepper, yes. Pepper, yes. Okay. No. Look up, I 
Oh, thank you so much. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I need a hush. Yeah, what? just one. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Ready? Yes. Okay. Oh, thanks. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. That's why I breakfast this morning. I told the girls I'm going to do something a little light. So I'm having some coffee. I'm having an omelette. Um, just a little bit of fruit. I think he says this is watermelon drink. So I'm going to try that. Uh, yogurt and some plantains. And this is supposed to be hash browns. Across this road, guys. So we're going to be busy. This is what across the road looks like. So that's the hotel. Over there. And the hub, that's the casino. Like right here, like it's so huge. People are fish. It's down here, so remind me of like our waterfronts. Yeah. Oh dear, I don't come here, so look at the seat wet. Was it wet? I don't know. No, I don't know it. But yeah. Yeah. Mm, box side, I'm going to go see him. 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 Oh, yeah, the music that looks like them will attack people. Now, nah, venture far though, I'm not pass because I'm out here right there, so. <laughs> so, I'm not pass. Go no further. One and two people are walk still, but. You know, can't yeah. be stupid. But they are, they are is nice generally, guys. Like, if you're not thinking about coming, this video is your sign that you should come. And as you can see, I am alone, and uh, it not feel the way there. Like, even the hotel on stay, like the staff them courteous. As I said, the only awkward thing was last night in the casino. And that wasn't like the hotel staff or anything like that. So, yeah. But I 100% recommend. But anyway, I want to go to the, um, the mall today. When I check Google Maps, Google Maps say it is usually 15 minutes. Now that I think it's a 20 minutes. Just a little bit of traffic. Because apparently yesterday was Friday. So apparently because it's a weekday and you know, a weekday and people will go to work and all of that go. So today it just seems so bad because normally here even on this avenue you don't have traffic. So I think you have a little bit down like in the town area like. So I'm going to try to head back upstairs and change my clothes and head there so because I want to do lunch at this particular restaurant. I can't remember what name right now and then the dinner and so you know more once I can't the full day pretty much so never head back up now I think it's now after 10 my battery dead apparently me never charged it last night me never realized so never head back up now change and see what the time looks like to head to the mall see yes yes Go on with it, go on with it. Mm -hmm. Do us. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we are coming here with a force. Yes. Yeah. Blessing the reaper with voice in a handful. Go in a rise and boost. Yeah, we give thanks that we need it the most. Yeah, we give thanks that we really supposed to be thankful. Blessings are coming like one. I'm 
thing so I want next concealer my heart was my battery dead already but anyway um I say forever 21 so I'm gonna go down there I'm not gonna shop in I'm gonna want anything more than maybe like a fragrance that's about it but I think I may need a concealer so I'm gonna walk around if not then I'll come back in here so I'm trying to get my concealer so there is a mango there's a bottom by the works and I see people with like their um Zara bags so I'm gonna try to find the Zara store So we just walk around and literally I'm not going to buy anything. As I say, it will just be fragrance or maybe some little jewelry. Like if you find a nice pair of gold jewelry or so, I'd buy it. like that earring in Zara earlier. I actually liked it. But I wish it was a set, like three different instead of the one thing, like everything is like, chunky. But I really liked it. So, because my suitcase now I can't hold, not even one sweet thing, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, I wanted a fragrance. I'm sitting in front of the Victoria's Secret. But um, I'm not going there yet. So, I'm going there, go look. I don't really want anything as I said, but I'm going there, go look regardless. And maybe when I'm leaving tomorrow, I'll just buy a perfume in Duty Free or something like that. I'll just walk on the Duty Free. Yeah. So, that's it. So, when I finish here, so now when I finish Victoria's Secret, I'm going to head back. I'm not sure, downstairs. They have this theme park kind of thingy. So, I'm going to go down there so and see. Try to find this as a matter of fact as to what, you know, basically that's all about. So, yeah.
lot of food food places up here. So, but I'm not going to eat them. I have like pizza hut. They have um, I see McDonald's, I see Burger King, I see KFC. Some other little, for them like a local restaurant. Quite a lot in terms of the food, food options. But there is this particular place that I want to go for lunch. Um, I don't even know because over here it's like proper over. So I don't even have sun out or what. But I'm going to call my cab now and head back to the hotel. Oh, because I'm going to change. But I wonder now if it makes sense to just go straight. I'm going to see what makes sense. I'm going to check it. So them tell me I can't actually keep the card. So I guess I can keep it for another time. I'll come back. on the main course all right so i am going to ready okay, okay. the fish sticks 60. it's coming with five pieces but yes we start the sauce in the side sure very good and um the this one this is the kamarafogo yes this is mofogo with cream with shrimp. garlic sauce yes very good too. yes <laughs> What do you want to drink? Uh, I haven't looked yet. Uh, cocktail. Um, uh, we have cream with alcohol and without. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, let me get an amarita sawa. Amarita. Amarita sawa. Yeah. Do you want a bocado? Huh? Ah. Bocado. Let's see. Yeah. Thank you. You were. You can leave the drink. Okay. You can take it. Yeah. You can take it. Your green uh, potatoes yeah. come in a few minutes. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Mofongo. A 
Kama fungo. What is it? This is fried plantain with, with garlic and pork. Oh, it's plantain? Uh? Fried plantain. Oh, plantain. okay. With garlic sauce. Oh, okay. Do you like it? Yes. yes. It is my official last night here in the Dominican Republic. It has been an amazing time. I am so extremely happy I made this decision and I hope that you have stuck with me through this portion of the video which is unfortunately the end of my Dominican Republic vlog. I am all dressed for dinner and I thought it's my last night. I just want to really bask in the moment like i have been vlogging which has not been like a uh, anything at all to me really but i just want to be 100 percent in the moment be my last night and my battery's about to die i don't know why but anyway i appreciate you guys watching so much thank you for watching us again <laughs> i don't know why i said that twice remember to comment remember to like and i tried my best you know to give you a little bit of everything but at the same time being selfish with some of my time as well because i didn't show everything but you you guys saw most of it so i am dressed for dinner now and i'm wearing all white um which is a significance of pure your significance of cleanliness and I just feel so absolutely good this is the outfit that I am wearing um, this pants from no fashion style this little ruffle pants and my little white top and I have on my bandeau which is also in white as well and my black mules yeah so that's it and I'm gonna head out for dinner now which is literally like five minutes down the road but I am looking forward to the dinner and I hope that this is your sign that you should take that trip. Remember, I encourage you know, even for one time in your life, just do it, and it will feel. And I, 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 can't, I can't explain the feeling. Not until you do it, you will understand what I say. Trust me. Share this video with somebody who you know would love to come to the Dominican Republic. They can check out the restaurants that I went to and everything. And remember, guys, I'm gonna give you the information regarding the breakdown everything so stay tuned for that video is gonna come up hopefully after this vlog goes up then for the following week you'll get that video so stay tuned for that um enough chattering now guys i can remember to like comment and of course subscribe and as per usual my name is jody and i aspire to inspire until next time guys Hello stranger, it's been a minute since we last kicked it And by the way, just got in town And I won't let cumulus clouds all in the sky Ruin my vibe, usually I don't do this often But since recruiting isn't an option Use you on use your rain and thunder Baby, I wonder Baby, I wonder Put your sweats on, put your sweats on for me yeah. I got the plug, I made the call for me mm -hmm. I'm talking late night for ya Let me lay a great time on ya Don't hesitate, no, don't you just say you will, will, will Come through and chill, chill, chill Just say you will, will